want to bring in Ujjal Dessange, a very familiar name for many. Of course, he's the former Premier of British Columbia, former Federal Health Minister, also has a history with Mr. Atwal, uh, Mr. Atwal being charged but not convicted in an attack on Ujjal Dessange back in 1985. Mr. Dessange is in Vancouver. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Dessange. Good to be with you. You know, I want to begin because there, there were a long statement from Mr. Atwal, some uh, very passionate words from his lawyer then followed. I want to get your reaction to what you heard just shared in Vancouver. Well, I, I, you know, he may be a changed man. He says he's a changed man, and uh, I accept that at face value. I've never said otherwise. Uh, even in my earlier interviews, I said, you know, he may be a changed man, and that's that's good for him, good for Canada. Um, and, um, and it was good for him to clarify that uh, in terms of his love for his Indian heritage and the renunciation of Khalistan. I think those are all important things for him to do so that he can actually begin to publicly rehabilitate himself um, in the public's eye because the public wouldn't have known any of that stuff. I think, I think it was good that he did the press conference and had his lawyer there to speak for him. Now, I don't know how aware the public are uh, of the attack that we referenced on you that in which Mr. Atwal was involved. In fact, we have some photographs of you while you were in hospital recovering from that attack. I wonder from a very personal level, and I, and I hear what you're saying, that it was important uh, for Canadians and for Mr. Atwal to clarify to Canadians where he is right now. But given what happened to you, your own history with Mr. Atwal and those who supported uh, Khalistan uh, independence, an uh, independent Sikh nation. What has it been like for you personally to watch all of this unfold? Well, it's been um, sort of, you know, interesting and, and I wouldn't say painful, but it kind of reminds you of the difficult times uh, that Canada went through. Canada was in denial about these issues in those days. Um, and uh, and even uh, my friend uh, Rishi Gill didn't think that he did any damage to Canadians. And I was a Canadian, I'm a Canadian. <laughs> and uh, that's not to pick uh, a quarrel with my friend, but, but all I'm saying is that, that you know, he, um, uh, he and, and many others, um, on the Canadian soil, Air India happened on the Canadians from the Canadian soil. Um, were engaged in um, very violent activities, and I'm delighted to know that uh, that he's a changed man, and he he renounces the violence, and he shows regret, and uh, he wants to move on. And um, you know, as I said earlier, uh, even you know, even I may have been photographed with him in the subsequent years because he's everywhere. In political events, um, and I don't hold any grudges against him for what he tried to do to me. I want to read a part of a Mr. Atwell's statement that he read during that news conference. He says, "Quote: I do not advocate in any sense for an independent Sikh nation, and I, like the vast majority of Sikhs who once advocated for this cause, have reconciled with the nation of India." He says this, and he says he's not alone in the Sikh community to essentially uh, walk away from an issue that impassioned so many of them uh, some uh, 35, 40 years ago. But we have heard from the Indian government, members of the Indian government, saying that Canada is still not uh, forceful enough in quelling this type of separatist sentiment uh, in India here in Canada. Is it an issue that the Canadian government needs to focus more attention on? Well, I think that there's no question that the movement for um, Khalistan um, um, is not as strong as it was a long, long time ago. But there are still elements um, of that, and, and those who deny it obviously don't know what's going on. The fact is that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, the, the whole front leadership of the um, uh, Liberal Party of Canada in British Columbia and in Ontario uh, at the time of the last election it, the campaign was fronted by uh, former separatists. If they aren't separatists today, um, be, that that is very good. Um, and uh, and but the fact is that that uh, you know in political parties uh, they have had um, huge influence. Um, in fact, the leader of the NDP uh, himself talks about the right to self determination for the. For the Sikh religion, um, that's a that's a new sociological political definition of uh, of self determination. I've never known self determination based on religion to ever have uh, been espoused by sociologists or politicians. There's only one exception, and that was Israel, because Israel was born out of very difficult and horrible circumstances. 
And so, you know, I, I think that, that those are questions that they have to answer. And, and, and so, I mean, there's the example before you. Jagmeet Singh has never denounced uh, Talinda Pramar, who was considered by the major inquiry a, a mastermind of Air India and who was admitted um, by the only person uh, successfully prosecuted uh, with respect to Air India, uh, Mr. Riyadh, um, he uh, has testified that, um, that Talinda Pramar was the mastermind. And the leader of the NDP refuses to acknowledge this. So, you know, it, 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 it's a real issue. Sorry, very quickly. Thank you. Okay, sorry, we are out of time. Uh, Joel Desange, thank you for your time. Uh, Mr. Desange served as the NDP Premier of British Columbia. He joined us in Vancouver.